In today's video, let us discuss about what is arc chute and how does it work. Arc chute is an arrangement of parallel plates at small intervals that extinguish the arc formed when the circuit breaker interrupts a high electrical current. So simply the, those are parallel plates which are separated with small intervals which help in extinguish or quench the arc when the circuit breaker is interrupted at high electrical currents. This is how externally an arc chutes look like. See these are the small metallic plates which are separated with each other and these metallic plates are made with ferromagnetic material. So that when an arc is formed this ferromagnetic material attracts the arc towards it split the arcs between these gaps. Now let us see how the arc chute looks like in a 2D diagram so that you can understand the working of this arc chute. This is how an arc chute looks like in a 2D diagram. This is input, current is flowing through this input and this is your moving contact and this is your fixed contact. When this moving contact and fixed contact are together, your current flows from here through these contacts and back to your load. So here is your output and this is your arc chute. When this moving contact and fixed contact are separated due to some faulty condition, then an arc is created between this moving contact and fixed contact. When there is a gap created between them, air starts to flow. Because this arc is at higher temperature than the normal air, this arc starts to move in an upward direction. And you can see there is a wide gap or wide opening before this arc chute and this gap is placed here to increase the length of this arc. As the arc is going upwards, the arc extends itself in the length and these arc chutes are made up of ferromagnetic materials, right? So this arc chute attracts this arc towards them. When the arc reaches this point, it starts to split into different sections because there are gaps between them, right? So it starts to split between different sections and as it is moving upward, the arc cools down and the arc is extinguished at the top of the arc chute. We all know a formula that resistance is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to a area of cross section. As it is directly proportional to the length, we have increased the length so that resistance also increases with the length. Resistance is increased here. The high amount of current due to resistance, the current starts dropping over here. This is the reason behind extending this length or else we could have kept a small arc chute but we have increased the length because it have to increase the resistance so that the high amount of current can be reduced. And when, when this arc is separated in smaller sections here, the temperature gradually reduces in each section and by the end, at the top of this, the resistance is high and the arc quenches at uh, current equals to zero and temperature is almost negligible. If this arc chute is not present due to this high amount of current, a high heat is developed and which could damage our equipment. So arc chute acts as a quenching medium to a high amount of current created when two contacts are separated. That's all for today's video. If you like the video, do like, share, subscribe my channel. This is Sandeep Shaktri signing off.